This episode of WISBusiness.com, the show, is brought to you by Grant Thornton, White Hirschbeck Dudek, Madison Gas and Electric, and the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee. Hi, I'm Liz Shrum for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WISBusiness.com, the show. On today's show, Tom Still talks about new company creation in Wisconsin. And Reed Hall, the Interim Secretary for the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, talks about his new role. And now, here's the WISBusiness.com stock report for late October. Rising, Exact Sciences. This Madison-based biotech company has developed a non-invasive test for detecting precancerous and cancerous lesions. The company says the test has shown 98% sensitivity for cancer in a study of more than 1,000 patients. The test also showed 83% sensitivity for the most dangerous type of precancers and 57% for other precancers. And falling, Allstate Insurance. The company says it will close its call center in Cross Plains by December 31st, ending the jobs of 214 employees. Cross Plains Village President Kurt Schlicht received a letter from Allstate this month saying the closing is the direct result of improvements in technology, declining insurance claim counts, and efficiency gains. Tom Still is next with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. When someone you count on anticipates your needs, your job becomes a whole lot easier. Grant Thornton clients get advice and recommendations from partners in the U.S. and through member firms worldwide. Grant Thornton. Year after year, the wrap on Wisconsin's startup sector has been that too few companies are created here. Fair enough. However, it's equally important to ask, what's the survival rate for young companies born in Wisconsin? The answer offers an encouraging glimpse at Wisconsin's resourceful entrepreneurial culture. A study released this month by the University of Nebraska's Bureau of Business Research showed that Wisconsin ranked only 48th among the 50 states in 2011 for establishment births per person, meaning new company formation. However, the same study ranked Wisconsin 18th overall in its state entrepreneurship index, up from 34th in 2010, and among a half dozen states that recorded the biggest jumps up the scale. Wisconsin rose from 34th in 2010, up 16 spots, an improvement rate on a par with Minnesota, Ohio, Utah, Maryland, and Maine. Five years ago, Wisconsin ranked in the bottom 10 states overall. How can Wisconsin score low on company creation but steadily climb up the entrepreneurial ranks? Eric Thompson, a Nebraska researcher who helped to create the index about five years ago, said part of the answer lies in the tenacity of Wisconsin entrepreneurs. They are good at staying in business once they get up and running, he said. That trend is reflected in the study's rankings for growth in establishments per person, which means numbers of companies per capita. In 2010, the state ranked 22nd in that survival rate category. By 2011, it stood 7th, behind only Massachusetts, North Dakota, California, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and New York. One reason why new companies in Wisconsin have high survival rates is the existence of a support system that is far more extensive today than a decade ago. Ten years ago, there was no Governor's Business Plan Contest, no Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Network, no Wisconsin Angel Network, no Biz Starts Milwaukee, no Merlin Mentors, no investment tax credits, no Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Conference, no private accelerators, and precious few regional economic development groups. The rise of that infrastructure has extended many a helping hand. Entrepreneurship was a bureau in the former Wisconsin Department of Commerce, but it commands division-level status in the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation, its public-private successor. In the UW system, where teaching students how to start businesses was confined to a few lonely programs a decade ago, it is now a trend on most campuses and within the UW Extension. Lost in the political fray over creating 250,000 jobs in Wisconsin is a second goal that appears far more achievable, adding 10,000 companies over four years. If Wisconsin continues to keep existing young businesses alive and does a better job of birthing new companies, Perhaps it can lay claim to a new title, Startup Star of the Snow Belt. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Reed Hall, Interim Secretary of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation.
White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with Reed Hall, Interim Secretary of the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation. Thanks for joining us, Reed. It's my pleasure to be here today. Thank you for inviting me. Tell us a little about your background, which includes running one of Wisconsin's largest healthcare systems. Well, I grew up in Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin uh, dairy farm, so I'm a Wisconsin native through and through. Wisconsin's always been very important to me. Uh, I went to University of Wisconsin-Madison undergraduate, uh, law school in North Dakota, then health law at the University of Pittsburgh. I practiced at a law firm in Milwaukee for two years, and then I went to Marshfield Clinic in 1976 as their first general counsel. In 2000, I became the executive director of the clinic, and I retired uh, in 2010. During the time I was with the clinic, uh, we saw great growth uh, from uh, 145 physicians to just under 800 physicians. So it's been a great Wisconsin success story and owes its success to the state of Wisconsin primarily. Although the clinic saw patients from every state in the nation last year, every county in Wisconsin, every county in the Upper Peninsula, and 19 foreign countries. But Wisconsin is its home. You were retired at the Marshfield Clinic. So what or who persuaded you to take on this new role? Well, uh, when the governor calls, it's very hard to say no. And uh, this gave me an opportunity and gives me an opportunity to provide some public service to uh, the state that has meant so very much to me and has given me so much, not only my education, but uh, my career in the state. And now that you're on board, what are your top priorities at WEDC? Well, right now uh, I met with the staff this morning and I'm pleased to report uh, really excellent people there yet. I know some people have left, but uh, through and through I think the uh, organization has very good staff dedicated to their mission. So uh, first and foremost, we're doing an inventory of what the issues are confronting us and uh, then we'll put a plan of action together and they are already doing that. Uh, uh, is, they've worked very hard on that, not only last week, but the week before that. And we're in this transition period from the Department of Commerce to this new authority uh, viewpoint. And I think there's been some growing pains with that, but I'm, uh, I'm convinced that it's on track and it'll be solved very soon. Thanks, Reed. And thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by BMO Harris Bank, Whitehurst Beck Dudek, MGE and UW Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Schrum of Talent Foot Executive Search. See you next time.